Giardia, also called giardiasis or giardia infection, is a common infection of the gastrointestinal tract caused by the microscopic parasite Giardia lamblia. It affects people worldwide with over 300 million cases each year and is especially common in children under 5, travelers to areas with poor sanitation and internationally adopted children. How Giardia spreads. Giardia is found in the feces of infected people or animals and spreads through Contaminated water, most common, drinking untreated water from streams, lakes, wells, contaminated water used for food, or swallowing contaminated water while swimming. Contaminated food, especially uncooked food or food handled with unwashed hands. Person-to-person -person or animal-to-person contact, especially in daycare centers, households, or during anal sex. Contaminated surfaces or environments, touching objects with giardia cysts and then touching the mouth. Symptoms. Some people have no symptoms, while others develop sudden, often watery diarrhea, fatigue or malaise, foul smelling, greasy stools, gas, bloating, cramps, nausea or vomiting, weight loss or poor growth in children. Symptoms usually appear one to two weeks after exposure and last two to four weeks, sometimes longer. Giardia can also cause temporary lactose intolerance and other nutrient absorption problems. Diagnosis. Diagnosis is usually made by stool testing for parasites. Multiple samples may be needed. In certain cases, an endoscopy may be recommended. Treatment. Treatment involves antibiotics, with the type and duration depending on the situation. People with no symptoms sometimes do not need treatment, except children in daycare, food handlers. These groups should be treated to prevent spreading infection. Swimming should be avoided until 48 hours after diarrhea stops and anal sex avoided until treatment is finished. Special considerations for children. Children are more prone to dehydration from diarrhea. They may need oral rehydration solutions to replace fluids and salts. Breastfeeding safety depends on the specific antibiotic used. Parents should check with their provider. For more simple, colorful, family-friendly medical education, follow Family Medical Education.